three-time champion here. Back in the semifinals, the seventh time in eight French Opens she's done that. For 10 straight years, Steffi Graf made at least the semifinals here. She's won it five times. The two have had classic matches on the clay of Roland Garros before, and we certainly expect a little flashback to two of the greats of women's tennis in the 90s. Steffi Graf and Monica Seles as they prepare now to play in the semifinals. There was a time, Tracy, when uh, you would have been shocked to say that here, when it was just expected that these two were going to play in the finals. Well, it's just, frankly, great to see Steffi Groff on the court because I talked to her coach, Heinz Gunthardt, yesterday, and he said a couple of years ago when she had that knee surgery, they weren't sure whether that knee was going to allow her to get back on the court. She was on crutches for a number of months, missed a lot of the grand slams, and, and frankly has no cartilage in that knee. So the fact that she's out here playing, getting to the semifinals of a grand slam she's ecstatic well while Steffi Graf and Monica Sellis warm up to prepare for the second semifinal the winner of the first semifinal joins us live now Martina Hingis after her straight set victory over Arancha Sanchez Vicario was that easier than you expected Martina um, I was very focused from the beginning on and I also played her uh, two weeks ago in the semifinals in, of Berlin where I won so and uh, also the other results um, leading 9-1 so I kind of uh, went very you know excited into the match and it's uh, the semifinals of Roland Garros where she played so well so um, I was very excited playing her today. Martina, you haven't lost a set and you're in the finals now. Tell us how you've been playing the whole French Open. Well, in the beginning I didn't feel that great playing in you know, the second round Emily Moresmo, which I played in the finals of Australian Open and it was uh, more of a mental uh, match uh, playing out there against her and uh, kind of the whole public, whole friend so that was uh, probably more dangerous than uh, you know playing actually her as an opponent but um, I went through the match and I'm happy being in the finals again. Martina, how much motivation, extra motivation, do you have here at the French because it's the only one missing from your Grand Slam resume? Well, it's extra because this tournament to win, it, it's so difficult. Even like for me, you have to be in such good shape uh, the whole tournament through. It's uh, a long one for me. I, I, I kind of, you know, always feel like it's uh, taking forever, but um, I'm saying this year is my year and I try to be ready for the finals. Pardon me this question, Martina, but we watch you and you're so poised and so mature and we're talking about the only Grand Slam you haven't won and you're still on the eight. Do you feel 18? Um, kind of like this is my fi fifth year on the tour, so everybody takes me as a veteran already, like oldie, but <laughs> um, I won here as a junior and I kind of would always think this would be one of the first ones I've probably will be able to win as a Grand Slam tournament, but um, you know, here I am in the finals and I hope I can do it this time. Martina, are you going to watch any of this next match coming up or are you just going to go back and relax? Oh, definitely. I want to see what they're doing out there and uh, I think it's a very good match. They both played each other so many times in the finals. Uh, like They've been on tour forever. I mean, Steffi is the 15th time or I don't even know, so it'll be great uh, seeing this match. All right, well, watch it along with us and enjoy it. Martina, congratulations. All right, well thank done. you. Thanks. Martina Hingis, she is in the finals after a straight set win over Arancho Sanchez Vicario. So the defending a champ on the women's side is out. And now it's Martina Hingis awaiting one of two great veterans, both of whom have had outstanding moments and memories here at Roland Garros. Uh, Tracy, you brought up an interesting point. When we watched Steffi Graf play Lindsay Davenport in the quarters, she said Steffi has mentioned that the one match that really burns in her mind is the, the classic 92 final here, Monica winning 10-8 in the third. You're exactly right. That was just an incredible match. And one of those one match that went back and forth, back and forth. Monica Sellis actually had a three or four match points at 5-3 in the third set. Steffi came back and was serving for the match at 6-5 in the third and 7-6 in the third. And finally, an hour after her first First match point, Monica Sellis went on to win that match 10-8, and Steffi says it's one of the one of the worst memories for her. You know, you lose in a Grand Slam and then lose so close is just really so tough. Monica Sellis, currently number three in the world, won in 1990, 91, and 92. In 1990, she was only 16 years old, and unfortunately in 93, wasn't able to come back and defend her title because was stabbed that year in April over in Germany. Now, 
for 27 months after that, and that's just, it's a real crime to Monica Seles' career, and I think a, a real crime to the tennis world, because these two had started such a brilliant rivalry, played 14 times, and to me that's just mm -hmm. not enough times. I would have thought that they would have played many, many more times. And, and you know, Tracy, the, the nice thing about this rivalry is where they've met in Grand Slams, and look at this, always semis or finals. In fact, the 96 U.S. Open final, interesting, because it's the last time Steffi Groff had been even to the semis in a Grand Slam event. The 95 U.S. Open final, in fact, was Monica Seles' return. After nearly three years away from the game, that was her comeback tournament. She made the finals, and Steffi won that as well. And look how close the matches are. The, the only match that's not close is that 92 Wimbledon right in the middle there, and, and the big key there is it's played on grass, which is a favorite for Steffi Groff, and something that Monica Seles doesn't love. The surface makes the ball stay down so low. Now, their last meeting was in a Grand Slam. In fact, it was just several months ago at the Australian Open, but that was in the quarters, and Monica won that match 7-5, 6-1. Very strange match. Actually, Steffi was up 5-4 in the first set in the quarters at the Australian and then lost the next eight games in a row. And she said, I was so nervous before that match, more nervous than I usually am, and then just completely lost concentration in the middle of the match, something that, you know, she just doesn't do. When does either one of these players lose mm -hmm. eight games in a row? Monica went on to, to win that match 7-5, 6-1. Now, yesterday, you said you felt a slight edge, perhaps, to Groff coming into this match. Now that you've had a chance to sleep on it, this is your last chance. You want to take that back at all? Oh, the pressure's killing me, Ted. <laughs> you know, I just think if there is a little bit of a slight chance, it's like 51 to 49 for Steffi because she moves better on this clay. She grew up on the clay and slides beautifully. Talked about Monica's improved fitness, but it... it she really is at a premium for her to move well because she has two hands on both sides. So Monica Sellis with the serve to start the match. See about the nerves early on in this match. Always tough in a Grand Slam semis to get out there and get that rhythm. That's going to be drop strategy, Tracy. Try to make oh, Monica run. It's going to be one of the strategies. Definitely use that backhand drop shot in particular because it's disguised so well. Because can't tell until the last second because this backswing looks like her regular backhand slice. Yes. 40-15 start quickly off of a couple return airs from Steffi Groff and a weak return there. So Monica Sellis with a good first game, hold serve. The best way to cure athlete's foot so it won't come back is here. New Lamisil AT. So powerful, it does what no other brand can do. These take four weeks of treatment to kill the fungus. Lamisil AT is so powerful with just one week's use, it stops the itching and burning and cures athlete's foot between the toes. So powerful, a clinical study showed three whole months later, users were still athlete's foot free. Now without a prescription. New Lamisil AT, the best way to cure athlete's foot fast so it won't come back.
great advice about digital technology, head for Circuit City. If you're looking for a DVD player, make sure you choose one with DivX. Only DVD players with DivX play both DVD and DivX movie discs. DivX lets you watch movies at home for about what it costs to rent, but you never have to return movies or pay late fees. This RCA DVD player with DivX is only $349.99. And get any five DivX movies free after rebate. Plug into DivX at Circuit City. From USA Pictures. And Danny, if I tell you something, you promise not to tell anybody. Never to mama too. Mama understands. An unspeakable act. I don't want all the perverts in this town to know what happened to my little boy. An unbreakable bond. I'm suffering, Mom. For what, honey? You didn't do anything wrong. Don't ever let anyone tell you you did, okay? An unbelievable choice. Tell that bastard he better call me, hey, because if he doesn't call me, I'm going to blow him away. Christine Lottie. All he needs is to hear that Danny Driver is someplace where he can never, ever hurt him again. That's all the therapy my little boy needs. Mary Kay Place. This is a secret that Janet can't keep. And Andrew Ducote. If someone kills themselves, do they still go to heaven? In a true story you'll never forget. Maybe I'm not God, but I'm the closest thing to it for all the other little boys he would have hurt. Judgment Day, the Ellie Nessler story. Premiering June 23rd at 9, 8 Central. Presented by Oldsmobile on USA. I love spring Some of the few things you can I see in Paris this week. Notre Dame, the Tour de Fell. The museums are still on strike, all closed. Oh, you can Metro see those, still on strike. See those things if you walk a lot. <laughs> it's hard to get around in this city this yeah. this week. Not a good week for tourism in Paris. Unless, of course, you're a tennis fan. <laughs> well, now Steffi Graf after... Seeing Monica Sellers play a strong first game serves at love 30. Usually Steffi Groff is a fast starter. It's not a good sign right here. Look at Steffi Graf's way to the semifinals. Maggie Maleva's back on the tour, two in love. Osa Carlson from Sweden, Kornikova. Lindsay Davenport, that's the only set that she lost, that second set, 7-6. She's the only semifinalist that has lost a set. Celis, Hingis, and Sanchez Vicario got to the semis with straight set victories. But I must say, Steffi's quarter was the toughest, upsetting the number two seed, Lindsay Davenport. going to see out here is Monica Sellis hitting the power ground strokes off of both sides. It's some pretty flat with just a touch of topspin for control. Tries to keep them as deep as she can and as close to the lines as she can. And she's going to try to fight Groff's wanting to run around that forehand, right? is you just don't want Steffi to hit forehands where she just hit those last two. You want to get it to Steffi's backhand all the way in the backhand corner or all the way to that forehand corner. Right in the middle of the, of the court is where Steffi hits her biggest forehands, those inside out ones. Monica's also going to want to try to attack the second serve, get ahead in the point right away. That's 
Steffi Groff backhand is not going to come up with a lot of winners. That's more of the steady side. She gets her opponents out of position with that backhand with placement and then finishes, tries to finish the point off with that big forehand. A double fault on break point. So Monica Sellis gets the first break of the match. To me, that was a little bit of a nervous serve. I'd rather see you hit out on that ball and hit it past the service line. In the net means you pull down on it just a touch. with that backhand, it stays down so low. Zero talks about the fact that she's not going to hit a lot of winners on that side, but it can be lethal. Makes you bend down that extra foot or two. second serve to the forehand, letting Steffi Groff know, hey, don't try to run around that backhand of yours because I might go up to your forehand. Say the sun bothered her, maybe the, the wind a bit, but just a very uncharacteristic air from Steffi Groff. Heinz Guntart, longtime coach, looks on. Only played on the men's tour. Looking at Monica Sellis through this championship, it does appear she's fitter. And uh, she's made some admissions about some of the things she has to do and problems she has to get over. In an interview with the New York Times, she admitted to having a problem with binge eating. That's generally the biggest step towards curing a problem. Right. Admitting it. Just catches the tape. She's admitted. She said, hey, other people use pills, other mm -hmm. people use alcohol, whatever it is. I use the eating, and I've had a lot of ups and downs in the last couple of years. First major one, a death of her father right before the French Open last year. So when I have those problems, I go to the food. Be better sign for Monica Sellis' tennis in the next few years. She's up three love here in the first. The biggest websites from Amazon.com to Yahoo. And the biggest companies from British Airways to General Motors use Oracle for e-business. Do you? An air conditioning system must be reliable, so people worldwide rely on Carrier. And chlorine-free Puron refrigerant makes our most advanced indoor weather systems our most reliable yet. Carrier, custom-made indoor weather. You want incredible color, but you also want incredible hair. Color that lasts, and color that's gentle. It's not impossible. It's Hydrians. Incredible color that's incredibly gentle. It's unique water-based color cream hydrates your hair with luxurious, moisture-rich color that lasts and lasts. But Hydrians won't shock your hair. It's a gentle, permanent way to color. So you're a beautiful blonde, brunette, redhead, and your hair is silky and shiny. Introduce your hair to Clairol Hydrians. Incredible color that's incredibly gentle. New CompuServe 2000. Now just $9.95. Fast 56K connections. Just $9.95. Easier email. Just $9.95. Serious information. Just $9.95. New CompuServe 2000. The value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. The internet is revolutionizing business. From egghead.com to eBay.
from E-Trade to Excite. The companies that know the internet best use Oracle for e-business. Do you? Kate Foster, alien test subject. I know you're here. Framed fugitive. No! Unlikely savior. I'll hunt them down and I'll expose them or I'll die trying. Running for his life. Running to expose the terrible truth that they are already here. Be careful who you trust. trust, trust. First wave, Friday nights at 10. This is sci-fi. Call your local cable operator or satellite provider to get sci-fi now. Monica Sellis up a break. First set on Court Central. The second women's semifinal. Martina Hingis has advanced with a straight set win over Arancha Sanchez Vicario. thing you wouldn't expect Gracie would be either of these players to show nerves as great champions as they've been but it looks like Steffi may have a few she's actually admitted that in her press conference here that she has more nerves in the last year than she usually does it she just has played so off and on and sporadically in the last couple of years because of injuries thing to test the nerves is how Steffi's oh, moving yes. because usually that's one of her best assets. Only player to win all four Grand Slams at least four times. Just a, an incredible feat because the surfaces are so completely different. The slow clay and the quick grass. Oh, Doesn't look settled down at all. Usually that forehand, the big weapon pins her opponents to the baseline, but just overhitting a bit today. Look for Groff, you look for the good first service percentage, relies a lot on that big serve and then the big forehand to follow it up. First time she played the Grand Slam was way back in 83. Played the Australian Open, lost first round. 83, she's about 14 years old. Close to 30 now. First up, he dropped her indeed as her career has been a bridge through tennis generations. Look at this, Monica coming in, I love it. You just don't see Monica come in, but didn't do enough with that volley. Kind of got caught mid-court. Steffi goes behind her. Eugene King talks about trying to get Monica to come in more, finish the points off at the net. Yeah, this is See Steffi bang her thigh after that one, like, mm -hmm. that wasn't that tough. Why can't I just get it in? You think Monica could make that change at this point? I think she can start adding, you know, going to the net a few more times. She's definitely never going to be a servant volleyer, but you don't want to be. She's three in the world. <laughs> Sandra DeJenkin from France right away says, nope, ball hit the line. Seems like one of the few errors that Monica has made, just always so focused, each and every point. Can't tell what the score is when Monica's playing. The 
you're playing against Monica Seles, even if you're Steffi Groff in this match, where do you hit the ball? That's the key, is there's no safe place. You know, she's got the hard forehand, even harder backhand side. Someone against Steffi Groff, if you can get it over that backhand, you know you get a little bit of a reprieve. The ball's not going to be coming back at you about 100 miles an hour from that side, like it does on the forehand. For both of these players, pin their opponent way behind that baseline, push him back. A couple of break points for Groff. a lot of Lindsay Davenport. Lindsay Davenport has that humongous forehand and even bigger backhand. There's just no safe place. Go for the big serves, the big returns. Now strong, but long. So Rock comes back for our serve. Welcome to the Super Lottery Drawing. This week's jackpot is $15 million, so let's get to it. The first number is... 29. The second number is... 15. The third number... 7. The fourth number... It's time for E-Trade, the number one place to invest online. Back in 1956, a wide sport coat. He changed country music forever. Marty Robbins. Well, I never felt more Heartland like Music presents the very best of I Marty Robbins. Here you return. I stay. 30 all time stay classics. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, oh, devil woman. But the best of Marty devil Robbins is not in stores. Please order now. Don't worry about me. To order, call 1-800-956-9494. Or send $17.98 for two cassettes or $19.98 for two CDs, plus $4.50 shipping to Marty Robbins, P.O. Box 60102, Department O, Sacramento, California. French Open Summary, sponsored by Saab, celebrating over 50 years of innovative automobiles. Well, Martina Hingis now in the finals of singles and with Anna Kornikova still alive in the women's doubles. Three unseated men's semis, that's seemingly a trend now here at Roland Garros. Fernando Melageni, he'll play Andre Medvedev here tomorrow. How about those ranking improvements? Dominic Urbati going to be in the top 20 for the first time. And Mela Jenny, who's played forever, and his highest rank's been 43. He's going to be into the top 30. The only seed on the men's side, Andre Agassi, number 13. What a great opportunity. Looking pretty good for Andre right, right now. Although anyone selling Dominic Urbati short may be in for a surprise. A young man from the Czech Republic who is playing very well. He's I'm sure Andre would rather play him than a lot of other people in the semis here. But her body is very talented. Ted, with all the talk about the youngsters, Martina Hingis, the only teenager in the semis, only 18, Steffi Groff almost 30, Monica 25, Arantxa 27. Says a lot for those veterans, they're hanging in there. 
I don't think Steffi's appreciative of these mentions of her impending birthday. Well, you've just got to be so impressed the fact mm -hmm. that she stayed this motivated for tennis for 16 years. Longevity can be measured in so many ways. There is a fabulous achievement. You played her, didn't you? I did. She was just a kid, though. I was mm -hmm. number two in the world. <laughs> so. Come on, exactly. You were grandma. <laughs> but I mean, she's been around a long time. She has, and she's actually been ranked number one in the world 377 weeks, mm -hmm. more than any man or any woman. She's won more prize money than any man or any woman. Steffi Graf, and we're even at three all. In the first four games, Ted, in this match, Monica Sellis only made four Sponsors. airs. Then in that fifth game, she made four in that one game. So, not a good game there. Let Groff get back into this match, and now it looks like she's really found that rhythm. It's cut down on the airs herself. That's the second ace for Sellis. First match today, Martina Hingis. Easy over Arancha Sanchez Vicario. She won the first five games and really never looked back. That ace right there, 130 miles, or 139 kilometers. That's only 88 miles per hour, but it was a placement. It was key. The people at home, when you watch Monica Sellis get down for her ground strokes, that's just so key. Bends those knees down extremely well, especially on that tough slice. Monica with the wind right now, so her shots are going to have more weight. Steffi has to hit the ball through the ball a little bit more to maintain that depth. Now there is an easy game for Sellis, 4-3 in the first. New CompuServe 2000. Now just 995. Fast 56K connections. Just 995. Easier email. Just 995. Serious information. Just 995. New CompuServe 2000, the value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. We got a dog for the kids. Okay, so I became attached. Dad! So my wife called it obsessive. I just wanted the perfect food for my dog. Talk to the vet, talk to the breeder, read books. Okay, two words, go shopping. That's how I found Purina One brand lamb and rice formula. First ingredient, lamb. I think we found our dog food. Me, obsessive? I don't think so. Purina One, second to none. What's the difference between ordinary potting soil and new miracle Grow potting mix results? University tests prove that plants grown in miracle Grow potting mix grow twice as big. Try new miracle Grow potting mix. The miracle is in the mix. I am always looking for opportunities. You go into the grocery stores, you go into the shopping malls, and you look for some little investment that perhaps maybe sounds interesting, and then you do the necessary homework and making an investment and slowly watching that investment mature and doing well on it, to me, that gives me a rush. That gives me the excitement because, to me, I'm part of that game. I'm part of that community that's making things happen. And I've always enjoyed that. On the next happy hour. Who's driving the bus? It's the Zappas. Get that right. This time they get crazy with the host with the most. Yes! Chuck Woolery. I am not wearing any underwear. Alexander Paul from Melrose Place. Back to the phone. And from Jesse, David DeLuise. I've never seen anything like it. Incredible. Plus, Nancy Wilson sings from the heart. I'm so loving it. And games you haven't played since you were a kid. The doo-doo game. Get happy. Happy hour. Saturday night at 9, 8 central on USA. 
Well, on serve in the first set of the semifinal from Roland Garros. And Steffi Graf just serving her first ace, 15 love. Not a lot of long rallies in this match like there were in that first match. First match, the match went quickly, but the rallies were longer. Ted, I should point out that both players only playing seven tournaments before the French Open. Really light schedule. Monica Sellis after Fed Cup had a throat and ear infection, so didn't have any lead-up tournaments on the red clay before the French. Hasn't hurt her a bit. Oh. Steffi after Lipton was training on the clay over in the States for about three weeks, and then she got a foot injury and had to sit out a couple of weeks. Went to Berlin, lost in the quarters to Julia Lahr. Actually, in that quarterfinal match against LR, had to have the trainer come on the court because she was having problems with her back, and her body is just wearing out. When you look at the injuries that Steffi's had in the last five years and the surgeries that she's had. Just got to give her a lot of credit for actually still being out there because she doesn't have anything to prove. 21 Grand Slam titles. She loves the game, and their mom looks on, Heidi Groff, and to her right, Joni Essenmarker, former WTA trainer who Steffi hired to travel with her to treat any injuries. Talked to Heinz yesterday. Heinz, there's mom. Heinz said that they don't practice as much as they used to, trying to save that body. He said Steffi's played enough tennis in her life. She doesn't need to practice all those hours. I think that's one, pro one reason she had problems with the injury. She really loved to practice like three or four hours a day. I would imagine if it's like other sports, as you get older, it may help you play longer. Exactly. You enjoy playing more if you practice a little less. Not, not even play longer. How about just play? Just mm -hmm. be able to continue mm -hmm. to play on the circuit. What? She says, I'm not going for any records. The records don't mean anything to me. I, I love the competing. I love playing those matches. Drop shot. I frankly don't think she would have gotten that last year. Yes. You saw on the overhead, not real. There she is with the one-hander. You see on this shot, she's not real comfortable moving at the net. Looks a little awkward. When she got a short ball. Put it away, 5-4, sell us. Hey everybody, I'm Bob and I'm stupid. No, nobody here is stupid, Bob. You guys know about the internet, right? Everybody's getting rich. We made this commercial. We spent two million bucks to bear it one time. We were gonna be rich. Millions of hits on the website. It was huge. What happened? The site crashed. I forgot to warn the web guys. Oh. That was stupid, Bob. An air conditioning system must be reliable, so people worldwide rely on Carrier. And chlorine-free Puron refrigerant makes our most advanced indoor weather systems our most reliable yet. Carrier, custom-made indoor weather. It's here, the hot new Rebel 2000. Rev it up. Score, new ball. Let cannon ignite your creativity. Soar past simple snapshots and roar into photography. Three, two, one, go! Agassi, game ready!
the new Rebel 2000 from Canon. New CompuServe 2000. Now just $9.95. Fast 56K connections. Just $9.95. Easier email. Just $9.95. Serious information. Just $9.95. New CompuServe 2000, the value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. Harder, baby. Harder, baby. Harder, baby. sell us now and several years into her return perhaps more of a perspective and an ability to look back as she mentions in this quote here watching tapes perhaps from her teenage years and amazement at how good she was and the reference to her father who really was her guiding figure in tennis and in life and the, the acknowledgement that she has to probably go back to that kind of a routine again in her game. I think she means the routine of staying with it. Now she tends to get in a routine for 10 days and then has some breaks. She really needs to stay focused and practice thousands and thousands of shots day in and day out. She's been quoted as saying, gosh, I'd love to have these next five years of my career where I don't have anything off court to worry about. Just want to be able to focus on the tennis. Was last year she played here is immediately after the passing of her father an incredibly emotional moment and it made her the favorite here of the people now this year she's dealt with the the incredible strife in her homeland she's talked about seeing bridges she ran across and played on as a little girl in novi sad that had been bombed in the in the nato bombings recently career Grand Slam titles, eight before the Hamburg stabbing, only one since, that's the 96 Australian Open, totally dominating the game before April of 93. Gusting as it did most of yesterday, really affected the men quarterfinals. Does not seem to have been as much of an issue for the ladies today. I think yesterday was a little gustier than today. Flags straight out, kind of comes and goes. Got to pay attention to those flags right behind the court. Most of the time, Monica right now has the wind at her back, so she's with the wind. <laughs> tough shot for Steffi Groff with that strong continental grip. It's tough for her to get those low forehands, get that racket head underneath and up and over. 
Such a different grip, that continental grip there from most of the players today where they have the western grip where the palm is more underneath the handle. And both players marching onward here with fairly easy service games. Each player broke once early in the set. It's only 66 degrees right now and late in the afternoon in Paris, so from a temperature standpoint, perfect for the players. All right, just have to pay attention to that wind. That means you have to have better footwork, take those little steps all the way to just before you set up to hit the shot. Those are the angles allowed her to dominate the game early in the 90s. Easy to get, hit those angles. Just terrific accuracy. Have to practice those time and time again to get it so it's just over the net but still in. Not happy with that forehand, just not getting the racket back in time. run at the end to make sure that that ball got over the net. back in and miss the air. That's the shot that she looks for. Does everything in the point to set up that forehand, but just missed it. And so eventually Sellers holds and we march on towards a tie break here in the first set. And now it's time for that feature I know you look forward to every day, the Oracle Tennis Quiz. Brought to you by Oracle, the e-business engine. Three women have won three consecutive French Open singles titles. Okay, I know one. Okay, we have a hint for you. One's playing on the court exactly. today. Monica Sellis, Helen Wills Moody from the United States, Hilda Sperling, and Monica Sellis. Very select group. And the amazing thing is that Steffi Graf with five titles here never strung three in a row together, but of course Monica Sellis had a lot to do with that. has been in the finals here eight times. In the ten oh, straight nice. years here, Steffi Graf made at least the semifinals. Steffi won here in 87, 88, 93, 95, and 96. Last year, didn't make it. Graf missed one full cycle of the slam. She missed Wimbledon in the U.S. Open 97, then Australia and the French last year. And that's when you start to think, gosh, if she had played those when she was still very much at the peak of the game, not that she isn't now, but uh, she had tremendous opportunity to win those. Could she have taken over Margaret Court's 24 Grand Slam titles? Third double for Graf, serving to send this set to a tie break. Steffi coming to the net. Don't 
see that that often. Wrong foot. Celis. with the wind behind her. Oh, so tough when you're Monica Sellis right now because you hit the ball extremely hard and it just doesn't seem to go anywhere. When I played, I always felt it was better to be with the wind than against it. And we're hoping this wind is not a, a harbinger of things to come. The forecast is for rain showers late in the day in Paris and we're approaching 5 p.m. here. Terrific footwork. Leaps into that shot. Is that forehand as good as it ever was? Or has it lost a little punch? Well, I think what it was before is it was just so much better than everybody else's. Now everybody's caught up. Oh, so Brock does not slip. And this first set will be decided in a tie break. Salas will serve the first point. They've played three tie breaks in their career, which is actually surprising for how many matches they've played. Monica Salas is up 2-1. Played on clay five times. Monica Sellis won three of those. That is a difficult mistake in a tiebreak. And now Sellis up 2-0. the shot, she doesn't slide into them, um, taking just a second to stop and, and turn around. Watch Steffi on the other side, she'll slide into her shots, growing up on clay. Horrible air there from Steffi Groff. Floats that ball long. Patty Schneider hit a lot of those type of lefty serves into that Groff backhand at the U.S. Open last year to defeat Groff. Yeah. Oh. And Monica backs it up for their third ace. So now it is 4-1 for Sellis. Now they'll change ends with Sellis up 4-2 in the tie break. Now they have to adjust the wind again. Have to adjust the toss. 
I personally think it's easier to serve into the wind. Personally, I'm ecstatic to see a tie break after all the, the one-sided sets we've had here the last few days. Time to set up Son, for this ground stroke. Gets that racket back nice and early. Past year or two, might not have been able to get that shot. Quick first step right there. Great wrist action to get that angle. So four set points. Well, Monica Sellis after a close set with a dominant tie break. That's a good call, Mel. He is up around 120 pitches. You got that right. Hey, where's Sutcliffe? I don't know. I can never keep track. Mm -hmm. Hey, I was a pitcher too, you know. Catch the action of San Diego Padres baseball right here all season long with Mel Proctor, Rick Sutcliffe, Mark Grant, and Jane Mitchell, the team behind the team, Channel 4 Padres. You can't get any closer. Jane! Searching for a website? Start with SanDiegoInsider.com. Searching by category makes finding sites easy. And SanDiegoInsider.com reviews local websites, so the best ones are brought right to your fingertips. SanDiegoInsider.com, the best place for San Diego online. Going gets tough. The tough get Tuesday. USA's Super Action Tuesday with movies that rock, movies that roll, movies that take their toll. This Tuesday, need protection? Better go. You can always bet on Jack. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Dolph Lundgren. Black Jack. Super Action Tuesday, presented by Wendy's on USA. A very tight first set, broken up rather handily by Celos, who won the tiebreak 7-2. Tracy, I guess the, the story continued to be errors by Steffi. Yeah, four unforced errors in that tiebreaker alone out of the seven that Monica won. We expected a tight match, but not a match with this many errors. Both players with more errors than winners. I think a lot of that is the wind, possibly nerves in the beginning. So, so much focus on this match, Tracy. We see the photographers 
jamming into their allotted areas. And unlike yesterday for the men's quarters, there's not an empty seat here today. Yeah, these two players are, are used to focus. That doesn't bother them at all. It's supposed to be number one in the world for long periods of time. Monica Sellis, I think, was over 100 weeks at number one in the world. I mean, she, she talks about being not as fit as oh, she still God. wants to be. Let's look at this forehand, how she gets that left wrist through. Bring that ball in down the line, but she's not fit, and she's still three in the world. The women's tennis is getting very tight to very... <laughs> Full at the top. Oh, Martina Hingis, you have the Williams sisters talking about wanting to be number one. You have Celis, who is, looks like she has that possibility taking over the number one position in the future. <laughs> Steffi Groff, now six in the world. Didn't play Roland Garros, so her ranking should go up this year with these at least semifinal points, if not finals. By the way, didn't play Roland Garros last year because she injured her right ankle, sprained her right ankle before the tournament. Recovery there by Groff, and she holds to start the second set. The biggest websites, from Amazon.com to Yahoo, and the biggest companies, from British Airways to General Motors, use Oracle for e-business. Do you? New CompuServe 2000. Now just $9.95. Fast 56K connections. Just $9.95. Easier email. Just $9.95. Serious information. Just $9.95. New CompuServe 2000. The value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. conditioning system must be reliable so people worldwide rely on carrier and chlorine free pure on refrigerant makes our most advanced indoor weather systems our most reliable yet carrier custom made indoor weather the internet is revolutionizing business from egghead.com to ebay from e-trade to excite the companies that know the internet best use oracle for e-business do you We talked about those weeks at number one. An incredible mark. 300 is more than a calendar year for Steffi Groff. Monica Sellis. Look at that. Tracy Austin still in there. <laughs> Seems to me like it was more than 22 weeks for you, I must admit. Ah, felt like a long time, Ted. Hey, just getting there, I was pleased. Tina Hingis at 97 weeks right now. Of everybody else, Lindsay Davenport at number two, but remember Lindsay has a lot of points to defend coming up in California. Won three tournaments in a row, and then at the end of the year, end of the summer, excuse me, the U.S. Open. Let's think about 377 weeks, seven years as the top player, and that's some run. It's about where I believe Sampras is just about there on the men's side.
look at Monica Sellis' ground strokes. Look how she's always ready to move forward, looking for that short one. Gets that racket head down low behind the ball, below the ball, rushes up just a touch. She's got terrific balance. She has to with two hands on both sides. Has to get all the way to the shot. Sometimes takes that one hand off for the forehand. So Sellis holds it, love. Each player broke the other fairly early in the first set. Since then, it's been both players holding fairly easily. Actually, I saw her interviewed about the two hands on both sides, asked, you know, do you regret that because you don't have the reach? And she said, no, that's the way my dad wanted me to play and like that I play that way. Dad always the only coach that she had until Gavin Hopper last year. Very pleasant good morning to all of you. Welcome to our live coverage from Roland Garros in Paris. And now our extended coverage of the women's semifinals. We were delayed by rain at the beginning today. And we stay with you with Sellis up a set, one all here in the second. So right about now, Dylan Austin is oh, digging nice. into his Cap'n Crunch, huh? <laughs> Dylan Austin Holt, my little boy. <laughs> oh, is he mad at me? Hung up on me the other day on the phone, wants me home. Fruit Loops. <laughs> oh, that's it, okay. Much better for you. play really has risen in the second set compared to especially early on in that first set when there were so many airs. Points a lot longer. Look at Steffi's footwork. Always oh, hopping up and down till just the last second getting ready for the shot. Both these players with just terrific footwork. Announcing a new way to see, near and far, the way nature intended. The creator of AccuView, the most prescribed contact lens, is introducing the revolutionary AccuView bifocal contact lens. The first with pupil intelligent design, near and far. Get out of wearing glasses and get into life, both near and far. New AccuView bifocal. It's how you see things. Visit your eye care professional or call us for more information. New CompuServe 2000. Now just $9.95. Fast 56K connections. Just $9.95. Easier email. Just $9.95. Serious information. Just $9.95. New CompuServe 2000. The value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. I'm serving a party of 20 whether this pain goes away or not. So I took Advil Liquid Gels. See, they're stronger and faster than extra strength Tylenol on tough pain. It's the only pain reliever with liquid inside. Advil Liquid Gels. Stronger and faster. Well, in U.S. Open annals, consecutive years, 95 and 96. Monica Sellers back from her hiatus from the game, played Steffi Graf in the finals, but Steffi prevailed both times in 96 straight sets and then held the trophy alo aloft during a thunderstorm at Flushing Meadow. And that was the last time Steffi Graf even played in a Grand Slam final. 
In fact, the last time she'd even made a semi until today. working in. We have a question that's come in from a, a web viewer, Tracy. The two matches that Monica Sellis has won against Steffi Groff since she returned. It's actually only one match. Exactly right. It's only one match. The Australian Open this year. Somewhere in my little notebook here, mm -hmm. it said 2-2. Two -two. Mm -hmm. A little wrong information there. Oh. You can participate. Keep track of the French Open the proceedings. Even email your questions in at usanetwork.com. Break points now for Grub. herself back in this third set up 3-1. Most of their matches, Ted, have just been so close. Just such a rivalry, I think, that was missed out because they've both been gone for, mostly Monica, right in the middle of the 90s, was gone for 27 months. Steffi had so many injuries and kind of a rivalry expected to lead up to like Everett and Navitulova where they played something like 80 times. But they still have time. It doesn't look like Steffi Groff's looking to retire anytime soon to me. When two players know their games, each other's games so well as these two, does one try to throw a surprise in to do something different to yeah, shock the other side? There's no surprises now. Mm -hmm. They've played 14 times, seen each other play over the years, and, and Monica actually talked about that in her press conference. She said, we know each other. Now it's just a question of who executes better on the big points. In the first set, it was Celis. On the tie break. Oh, now, yes. Steffi Graf up a break here in the second. Another thing is it's not like they have a, a big plan B to go to. Steffi's not going to start serving and volleying, something that Hingis can do, or Monica's not going to change your game other than hitting every ball really, really hard. One of the big differences with Hingis is she, she has so much variety. Setting up to hit, look like the forehand. Yes. Couldn't get out of the way. It's one of the tough parts about playing in the wind, and it's it's gusty today. Sometimes the flags will be kind of hung down, and the wind will pick up in the middle of the point. Steffi Graf now four-one in the second. It's here, the hot new Rebel 2000. Rev it up. Score. New ball. Let cannon ignite your creativity. Rotation. Agassi. Soar past simple snapshots. And roar into photography. Three, two, one, go. Agassi, game ready. 
the new Rebel 2000 from Canon. My brother's son said he had an idea that it'd make us rich. That funny looking kid said that. Said we can use the internet. The internet? We ain't selling books, we're selling feed. And we already sell every ranch in the county. Harlan, have you ever been outside the county? Does Guam count? So Steffi Graf now asking for some attention. This is a trainer, Carol Doherty. She has three minutes to evaluate the injury or the problem for Steffi Graf. Must be, does not appear to be something uh, wrong with her legs or motion up, no, something in her eye. You know, I was thinking about this yesterday, Steffi, when watching Zareva play doubles with glasses on. In this kind of wind, with all the dust blowing around, would that be something more players would consider? Well, I, I think it's obviously better, but you can't uh, all of a sudden start playing with glasses if you're not used to it. I find it very hard to play with the glasses. But the clay is really, you know, when it gets a big gust, mm -hmm. it comes up and clay does get in your eyes. You know, that's something I ask because baseball players have, have adopted that and who often play in windy conditions and dust and dirt blowing around. You see more often now guys wearing clear, non-prescription, clear sunglasses. Well, honestly, there are a few players that do play with the sunglasses, but uh, just a few, mm -hmm. just a handful. Mm -hmm. well, Steffi Groff has picked herself back up after losing the tie break in the first set to Sellis. She's up a break at 4-1 in the second. for this one at the last second. Great anticipation from Groff. Monica trying for too much in the last shot. And now, Sellis throws in her first double. That toss did look a little wild to me. That's the wind. The toss is, is off. Catch it, start over. I think the, uh, these two players are getting the bad luck of the draw today. The wind seems to be much more of a factor in this match. Definitely. Definitely has picked up. <laughs> well, this set is about to slip away from Sellis. Three break points for Graf. <laughs> Not a big first serve, 126 kilometers. It's about 80 miles per hour. Let's get it off the line. I think that's definitely the side that you want to serve to, the Steffi Groff backhand. She can't hurt you as much and tends to make more errors on the return that side. Oops. Just as you say that, makes one on the forehand side. Ah, uh, you're a true announcer. The jinx. A couple of bad returns. Sellis has saved three break points. The trees in the Bois de Boulogne being affected. It's uh, it's getting pretty tough down there on the court. Uh-oh. 
davantage, Mademoiselle Céleste. Take a look at this last shot from Steffi. See how she lost her footing. Just that left foot wasn't firmly planted on the ground. Well, Steffi Graf a moment ago appeared to be on the verge of taking this set. And now Celis at an ad. Graf still up a break. We saw that yesterday, Ted, when we saw someone go down. It was Yana mm -hmm. Novotna. She's a little nervous. Yana Novotna checking today to see whether there's ligament damage. Big question is whether she'll be able to play mm -hmm. Wimbledon. Looked like a horrendous injury when we saw the replays. Ran into her partner, T Natasha Zvereva, during a doubles match. Stepped on her foot when they were both going for the same ball down the middle. So Celis saves the game. She won the last five points. She keeps herself alive in the set. To me, Ted, the tennis hasn't been as high quality here as it was in Steffi's quarterfinal match against Lindsay Davenport. I think that's a lot due to the windy conditions that have picked up during this match. Monica going to the chair, exchanging rackets. Most players have all their rackets, probably bring out about seven rackets, strung the same way. Some other players like to bring out some tight, a little looser. Some others looser. Would, would you change for the win, if that were the case, if you had different tensions? The, the tensions would be more whether the ball is going to spring off your racket more. Oh. Or you're going to have more give, and therefore the ball's going to slingshot more, a little more control when the strings are strung tighter. Yes. Crowd appreciating this beautiful backhand drop shot. Has the same backswing as she would on the backhand. Just cuts under it more for the drop shot. Well, such a great defense for Groff to say, okay, you're going to keep it in my backhand. We'll take this. I really think that in her career, I mean, even though she's got so many Grand Slam titles, she would have even been that much better if she had used that top spin backhand more often. She has it. She uses it a ton in practice, and, it, and it's hard. It's hard. It's deep. She just doesn't feel comfortable using it in matches. Have you ever seen her try it in a match anywhere on the circuits? Oh, yeah. She tries it more often when somebody's at the net. She knows she has to get that shot down low over the net. Ken Rosewall, actually, great champion, great legend. Didn't hit a topspin backhand too often. It was more of a kind of a slice shot. Not a ton of slice like oh. Steffi's. But definitely didn't hit over it. Ken Rosewall is here playing in the, what's it called? The Champions? <laughs> Champions Don't Tour. Don't get me in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing in John's division, though. <laughs> I was trying to promote a Barry McKay Ken Rosewall match. Ooh, that'd be nasty. Barry did not go for it. No. Slice and dice on the clay. <laughs> Barry'd be moving all over that court.
point. One shot right on the baseline, great depth, and the next one, this sh short little angle. <laughs> really opens up the court. Look how she bends down so well on that last passing shot. Gets down just about as well as, every, as anybody on the women's side. Well, we have a chance here to have a major turnaround in this set. A few moments ago, Groff had three break points for 5-1. Now Sellers has a break point. Even. that backhand in, just steady, steady. Yeah. Gonna like make a big shots on that backhand side. Just gonna try to maneuver Celis out of position. <laughs> Little yell there from Steffi Groff. That ball too short. Monica has mid-court shots. She's just so tough with those. Moves in beautifully off the baseline. Doesn't continue to move forward into the net, mind you. But those mid-court shots, she stays down beautifully. Well, here's a big second serve now on break point. <laughs> well, Steffi Graf turns to that forehand. That's a tough shot for Monica right there. The ball's down so low, and she's trying to change the direction of the ball, hit it down the line where the net's higher. two break points. My brother's son said he had an idea that it'd make us rich. That funny looking kid said that. Said we can use the internet. The internet. We ain't selling books, we're selling feed. And we already sell every ranch in the county. Harlan, have you ever been outside the county? Does Guam count? The best way to cure athlete's foot so it won't come back is here. New Lamisil AT. It's so powerful, it does what no other brand can do. These take four weeks of treatment to kill the fungus. Lamisil AT is so powerful, with just one week's use, it stops the itching and burning and cures athlete's foot between the toes. So powerful, a clinical study showed three whole months later, users were still athlete's foot free. Now without a prescription. New Lamisil AT, the best way to cure athlete's foot fast so it won't come back. Even though you might not know Delphi Automotive Systems, we're probably in your garage right now. 
You see, chances are we're in your vehicles, having developed the first car radio and production airbag, not to mention the future innovations that will revolutionize the way you drive. With 36 countries and growing, we're practically everywhere. Even though you may not see us. Delphi Automotive Systems, driving tomorrow's technology. Let's analyze the Steffi Groff forehand. First of all, strong continental grip, good shoulder turn, footwork, open stance there. Little wrist action there from below the ball, brushes up, gets that racket head through. And that's where the pace comes from, that racket head speed. Kind of confirmed, by the way, when the trainer came out to see Groff, it was just some clay that had blown into her eyes. No major problem. Right now, 5-2 Groff in the second. Base number four for Monica Sellis. So quick and easy for Sellis. And now Steffi Groff will serve to send this to a third set. Easy game there for Sellis on her serve, but frankly, Ted, I honestly don't think that it's gotten up to quite the speed that it was before the stabbing. Not quite the consistency. She'll have games where she serves big, serves accurately close to the lines. Best serve in the women's game right now. Gosh, that's tough. Lindsay Davenport certainly is, has a high quality one right now. Power and variety. Good placement. Let me think about that for a sec. Long footing Celis. The Williams sisters. I, was, I thought I think, you were going to say Venus. Yeah, you forgot about Venus. She's mm -hmm. had a single oh, so long ago, but she has the fastest serve ever mm -hmm. recorded on the WTA tour. Look at the wrist snap. Boom. Get mm. back that ball back in the court. Also, Serena's serve, I think, is very impressive. Not quite as fast as Venus is yet. Oh. Has some good yeah. spins and can change it up and, and good placement. Three set points for Steffi Groff. Celis and Groff, a set of peace. For great advice about digital technology, head for Circuit City. If you're looking for a DVD player, make sure you choose one with DivX. Only DVD players with DivX play both DVD and DivX movie discs. DivX lets you watch movies at home for about what it costs to rent, but you never have to return movies or pay late fees. This RCA DVD player with DivX is only $349.99. And get any five DivX movies free after rebate. Plug into DivX at Circuit City. I'm 64. Is there anything I can do to stop bone loss? Absolutely. Here's proof. In a landmark clinical study, Caltrate actually stopped bone loss in women at risk for osteoporosis, whatever your age. It's never too late for Caltrate. New CompuServe 2000. Now just $9.95. Fast 56K connections. Just $9.95. Easier email. Just $9.95. Serious information. Just $9.95. New CompuServe 2000. The value leader in internet access. Call toll free today. <laughs> well, Monica Sellos took the first set in a tie break. Steffi Groff played, a, for the most part, a cleaner second set. Still putting drops in her eyes, and now they go to a third set. I, 
I guess, Tracy, you would normally say fitness could be an issue for Monica Sellis, but you wonder if today that's as big an issue. Well, they've only played an hour and 21 minutes, and it's not that hard. It's not that hot, excuse me. I don't think it'll play as much of an issue. Monica's gotten herself in much better shape than she was last year. a match here, Ted, like they played 92. Monica won that third set, 10-8 in the third. Don't play a tiebreaker here in the in a third set. By Monica, I'm thinking right away, I've got to change the momentum here. Steffi played well that second set, found her rhythm. And I know that Steffi is a great front runner. Once she gets that lead, she seems to get more confident and start to play even better. I want to stay right with her beginning of this third set. That final set is always devastating, and Ralph has a great shot. I saw her pumping her fist after that point. She's really showing a lot more emotion in the last couple years than she did before. And she is, is so hungry, hungry for this title. When you think about what she's been through, where there are times in the last couple years where she didn't even think she'd be able to play tennis again, let alone at this level. And there's the break for Groff to start the third. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Hey, Mr. Dinky's busy. Ah. Hey, Dinky. I quit. Joke, sir. When you or someone you love is hospitalized, safety matters most. That's why doctors and hospitals choose Tylenol more than any other pain reliever. Doctors know Tylenol is least likely to have drug interactions, and it won't cause stomach irritation the way aspirin and even ibuprofen sometimes can. It's the pain reliever hospitals use most. Tylenol. Take comfort in our strength. You now there's not an empty space in court on trial to watch Monica Sellis and Steffi Graf between the eight French Open championships. But right now, Monica Sellis has got to reverse this, Graf. Up a break in the third. Steffi turning her head away, trying to not let that clay get her in her eyes. She's had trouble with that since the middle of the second set out here. semi-final field representing much of the recent championship vintage here in Paris. 
only one missing, Maioli in 97. <laughs> no Hingis name there. She wants to change that on Saturday. Martina Hingis, a straight set oh, winner earlier today over Arancha Sanchez Vicario. It's happening while probably most of you on the West Coast were still sleeping. She's been able to hit behind Celis in the last few games. Looks like Sancho and Sprinter out there on the court. Terrific athlete. I think she could have played just about any sport she wanted to play. Decision there from Monica Sellis. Wins by down just a bit. Zero. Well, Phelps, you know, Monica goes for the lines. It's tough to do in the wind. That's what she relies on, keeping her shots deep, accurate oh. angles. There's that slice backhand low to the Celis forehand. I think of the two, the Celis backhand is cleaner, bigger weapon. She doesn't change her hands when she hits the forehand and the backhand. A lot of people that use two hands on both sides change their grips. Keeps that right hand on the top. Big serve. Yeah, an excellent first serve for Celis. Only about 100 miles per hour. Look bigger than that. Steffi going in the wrong direction. So Celis holds her serve. Drop up a break in the third and deciding set. Tomorrow, from Roland Garros, it's men's semifinal day. We'll have for you Fernando Melageni against Andre Medvedev. I'm telling you, Brazil can't wait for this match. Also tomorrow, Andre Agassi trying to claim his first championship in Paris, meeting a very young and impressive player from the Czech Republic, Dominic Urbati. Earlier today, Andre Agassi practicing here on the grounds of Roland Garros. When he was finished, who else was there to talk with him but Barry McKay. Andre, uh, second day off, and obviously uh, you're probably ready to go. Would you rather be playing this uh, big match, the semis, uh, today instead of tomorrow? Well, I think in some cases, you know, uh, you, you don't want too much time off, but uh, it's been a long tournament, and uh, it's nice to kind of regroup, and now you're six sets away, and you're, you just kind of, you know you're going to come hard no matter what, so it's okay. Six sets away, that's a, that's a good phrase, but uh, let's talk about uh, 24 hours from now, maybe one of the biggest matches in your career. Do you think it is in terms of your, your overall You've had some awful big matches. Is this a big one? Sure it is. I think any time you get to this uh, stage of a Grand Slam, they're big matches, and, and it'd be important for uh, for the every one of the ones left to, to, to win, so I don't I don't value mine any more important than theirs. 
games. It's it's something we all want that we're going to go for. And, and 24 hours from now, we'll be smack dab in the thick of things. Dominic, your body's won five matches, as have you. What about this kid? Uh, any thoughts about his game? Oh, he's a, he's a real talent. I mean, the guy moves well. The guy stri strikes the ball so big off both wings. And, and he's rock solid mentally and physically. And he's going to just make you beat him. And if you, if you don't take it to him, he's going to bring it to you. So it's going to be some fireworks out there. We both have big groundies. We both are going to try to be taking control of the points. I got a hunch that uh, that the fans will enjoy the tennis. Speaking of mental toughness, uh, for five rounds, you look pretty tough to me. Are you? I hate to use that word focused too much, but uh, you seem very focused. I am focused. You know, I am. I'm very, uh, very focused at the job at hand, and uh, you know, I can live with uh, disappointment in life a lot more, and I can live with regret. And I'd regret it if I didn't go out there and just won every point. Can you win this one, Andre? Uh, sure, I can. I'm, that's what I'm here for. Thanks a lot. Well, like Steffi Graf, Andre Agassi, 29 years of age. Unlike Steffi, Andre's trying to do it here for the first time, but I think both still trying to prove that they're they're not done yet in the tennis world. The only one missing from Andre's Grand Slam resume, Martina Hingis, is in the same position, but she's already through the finals. Surprising to me that Hingis hasn't won here on clay. She went on grass faster. Jones. Because clay is very good surface for her. It's actually the same for Andre. I mean, for him to win on grass at Wimbledon before he wins here on clay, I think was quite a surprise. Monica Sellers fighting gamely to get that break back. It was love 30, but now Graf has taken two points. It's like Conchita Martinez winning at Wimbledon. Who would have thunk it? That's right. Her only grand slam and on the grass. that focus. She's always looking down at that racket that's just focusing on what she wants to do in that next point. Does it take a lot of guts to hit that on break point? It does, but it's a good shot there because Monica was a bit behind the baseline. Let's look at how Steffi disguises it. Wow, just the last, sh last second she pulls that racket up to hit the drop shot. Monica now holding that racket up saying, wait, Clay's blowing in my eyes now. blowing in their eyes. I know Mary Pierce wears contacts. That'd be a real problem. I wear contacts now. My eyes are not 2015 like Mac and Rose are. That'd be very tough to deal with. Again. Talking to herself. When she talks to herself, Ted, I wonder what language she's speaking in. Became American citizen and back in '94. She's been really proud to pay, play for the Davis Cup. Oh, excuse me, the Fed Cup for the United States. That'd be really impressive. Playing for the Davis Cup. And 
she'll have another chance to break. Those are the kind of points we expected out here today. Terrific hard deep tennis, and Steffi Groff wants this one back. Monica Seles up at the net, just at the service line there. Steffi had plenty of room to go for this passing shot. This is not Monica's favorite place to be, up at that net, not that comfortable. needed time for Monica Sellis. And we're even in the third. How could anybody be yawning now? <laughs> Ted, I talked about how both players had only played seven tournaments this Zero year. Tennis. Steffi Groff doesn't have a title. Monica Sellis does at Amelia Island, where she beat Dragomir in the finals, and that was her first title in seven months and her first title on clay since the French Open here in 92. guess wrong there? She did. Don't you see flashes sense. where Monica starts to serve big. <laughs> so the game's fairly easy on Celis' serve. We're looking at the third, fourth, and fifth planets to help you remember 1010345, the simple way to save up to 50% on international calls. Uh, Jupiter's the